Hello everyone and welcome to the first RoboGSR programming tutorial. In this video I am going to show how to use the programming blocks in control, motor and variable context area. I will explain about each block when we use it. You can place any block from the context area to main area by double clicking on the block in the context area. The first block required to begin any program is the start block. The start block and stop block can only be used once in a program. Start block marks the beginning of your program and stop block marks the end of your program. Let us start with a very simple program. Let us make a program to rotate a motor for 2 seconds. To start the program, double click on the start block. Now double click on the motor block in the motor context area. You can see there are three values in the motor block. First one defines the port to which the motor block is connected. As the SR brain has four motor ports, you can select from port 1 to port 4. Second defines the direction in which the motor will rotate. You can choose clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction and stop. The third value defines the speed at which the motor will rotate. You have an option to choose from three speed high, medium and slow. So now, once you have defined the motor which you want to move, you need to specify the time for which you want the motor to move. So double click on the time block and as we want our motor to move for 2 seconds, we will write 2000 in the time block. The values which you provide in the time block are in milliseconds and 1 second is equal to 1000 milliseconds. Hence, we write 2000 milliseconds for moving the motor for 2 seconds. You can see there is one more block here, the advanced motor block. Let us see what this does. The advanced motor block also has three values. The first one is the same as the motor block. You can select from port 1 to port 4. The second one gives you an option to choose the direction of the rotation of motor. And the third one gives you an option to choose the degrees by which you want the motor to rotate. The smallest value can be 15 degrees and the maximum value is 360 degrees. 360 degrees means that the motor will do one complete rotation and then stop. So now to mark the finish of our program, double click on stop and go to file. You can choose save and save as. I am going to call it demo program 1. Click on compile. Program compiled successfully. Then click on tools. And after connecting your SR brain to your PC, click on burn. And the program will be burned to the connected SR brain. Alright, program successfully burned to brain. So now let us go ahead and create a local variable. Click on create variable. See, I am going to declare a local variable. Its type is int. You can declare int, char and string. I will call it count. So this is how you declare a variable. To initialize a variable, you need to place it in the main area and then provide a value. So now go to edit and clear area or you can start a new program if you want to. Now let us see how does the if block work. We are going to make a program to rotate a motor for 2 seconds only if the condition specified in the if block is true. So double click on the start block. Then let us initialize our variable count equals to 0. Double click on the if block. Double click on the motor block. You can see when I double clicked on the motor block, the motor block was not placed in the main area. Instead, two gray blocks appeared. This happens when there is more than one position to place a block. Click on the gray block where you want to place the motor block. Now, we need to specify the condition in our if block. If count equals to 1 then move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction at high speed for 2 seconds so save this program 
compile it so now burn it to your connected sr brain so when this program is executed motor connected to port 1 will not move this is because the can we have specified that move the motor only if count is equal to 1 and we know that count is equal to 0 so now let us see how to use the if else block let us specify the same condition in the if else block if count equals to 1 move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction at high speed for 2 seconds but we already know that this is not going to be executed if this condition is not true then move the motor connected to port 2 in clockwise direction at high speed for 2000 seconds so now this tells the microcontroller to do to follow these instructions if the condition is true and if the condition is not true then follow the instruction from the programming blocks in the else area save it and compile it you can also choose save as if you want to save your program with a different name and now burn the program to the connected control panel now let us see the use of while block and arithmetic variable block so now in while block let us define if count is less than equals to 4 then move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction at high speed for 1 second count is always going to be less than 4 so let us increment count count equals to count plus 1 this condition is specifying the motor connected to port 1 is going to move in clockwise direction at high speed for 1 second then count becomes count plus 1 that is 1 so the while loop will run again it will compare if count is less than 4 which is true because count is equal to 1 so the motor connected to port 1 will again move for 1000 millisecond then we will increment the value of count by 1 so count now becomes 2 so the while loop will run again and it will compare if count is less than 4 which is less than 4 because count is 2 and so on so this keeps on going till count becomes greater than 4 and when count becomes greater than 4 instructions inside the while loop will not be executed anymore all right so i'm going to save the program and compile it okay we can burn this program to the connected control panel and see how this works so now let us see how does while forever work i'm going to insert a while forever block and if i say move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction at high speed i do not need to provide a value of time because whatever instructions you provide in the while forever block are going to be executed forever in this case the program will begin it is going to assign a value 0 to the integer count then it is going to move the motor connected to port 1 in clockwise direction at high speed forever it is never going to come out of the while loop so we will never reach the stop block of your program so we use a while forever block whenever we want to use the instructions inside a while loop infinitely that's all for this video thank you for watching